Right, well, if you're just joining us, we're on to game number two of the Abu Dhabi T10 live, of course, from the Zaya Cricket Stadium here. It's the Morrisville Sump Army, undefeated thus far in this year's competition, taking on the Chennai Braves. Ready to get going. Adam Rossington has walked out for the Chennai Braves. They're going to have first hit out. He's a, a powerful guy. And he's going to take a guard against uh, Sheldon Cottrell, David Milan, his uh, partner, with pace. And we see a bit of that this evening. Milan goes over his favourite extra cover. My word, is he so classy in that area. Washington goes big. Boom. Great start, great finish. Again, Washington is so powerful there. Second six of the evening. Nowhere near it. Darren Milan goes to heave it down the ground. Gets right underneath it. John out the new bowler. And David Milan follows suit. Wow, what a shot from Milan. But this one straight off the middle of that big bat. Flies over the short boundary. Yeah, I just, uh, I'd love to see Milan just pin his ears back and, and get going because when he does, he's uh, one of the most attractive players to watch. He doesn't have the pace to do this in to a player of Milan's class. Helped it on its way. I think even I could have pulled that one for six. This is up. This is up and it is taken by the keeper. He makes no mistake this time. In really good touch. Commentators curse. Strikes again. You would have been Rowan Gavaskar, aren't you? <laughs> Rick uh, Nokia. That sounded gorgeous. Right out of the fat. And it's gone up on the bank here. Whiteley's hoisted. Oh no. How about going with a dive and a catch? And a chance to make amends. And has he? No, oh, it's been pumped over for six. Small side of Zaid to keep saying this. Well, that's nicely timed. Should get to the fence, and it does. Lawrence. And he gets followed, and it comes off the pad, I think. It's a boundary nonetheless. No, it's wide. Um, Nokia. The young umps. Getting an opportunity. Certainly got something on this. And it's gone a long way up. Oh, I'm back in the ball. And I've lost the bet. That is a screamer. Has that got the distance? No. And the wash up here of the Sinnings. Rossington, a little quick fire cameo, 19 from 11. Did a job. Uh, Milan certainly did a job. 32 in the bowling. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I think Andrek Nokia was the pick of the bowlers for me. Two for 11 economy. Forget the wicket stop. Just have a look at the economy. The target's 106. Scored a few runs uh, in this tournament over the years. You can bet that and some more. What a strike record. Of course, there he is. Moen Ali, a face uh, we've come to know so well in the world of the shorter format in particular. Offside is up. There's two on the leg side. Bit of pace from Ollie Stone. We go from strength to strength. This one though, cut over the offside. There's no one out there. It may plug. No, of course it won't. Anyway, we'll come back to it. Stone again, bowling to Charles, who cuts furiously, ferociously even. T20 player though. But he's got unlucky. And uh, that's what happens when, when you throw the bat at it. Johnson Charles uh, is one of those players that chances is like John T. Rhodes. Again, just, uh, it's the length. Watch the length here again. Ended. This one's straight up in the air again. There's a man coming underneath it. Sam Owen Alley doesn't make Sam Cook pay. Gets his man. Uh, let's see if Sam Cook can take another wicket. Great shot from 
The main man, yes, it's uh, Johnson Charles who's in great form at the moment. Wasn't able to affect uh, the batting, but can he do something with the ball? This one is uh, up and over and down someone's throat, and that is it. Can't keep the man out of the game, can you? I think just mentally. He's uh, in a different frame of mind. As this one, oh, it was almost good fielding. The skipper, he got there. He did the hard work, mate. Let's catch up at the end, you know. I think sometimes there's a little bit more time than you think. But, um, oh, it, and it's tough to catch here as well, really. I mean, I don't know what it is, but um, it, it's really tough to catch. So he really stepped up, so that was great for him. We so appreciate your insight. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Aaron. Cheers. Gone a long way up, long way, big way. Fine leg either. That's gone to the moon. Is there enough on it? Yes, there is. Up against Raza. And he says, I'm going to fat you. Onto the short side. Up, get the arms up. You percha. Up and smoked. Here's another maximum. And there we go. Just whips it away. The line wasn't good. Jeanette brings up a 50 in style. You better believe it. Just misses the tent out there. It's from Carlos. It's gone wide and he's gone full. And that's it. Game over. Let's celebrate in style, says Kareem. Absolutely stunning. Ends up striking at 2.07. The openers, well, there's a little bit of Johnson Charles. Monelli uh, couldn't really get going, but uh, Johnson Charles did a nice little job. 23 from 13, but Junet and Miller, that 76 run partnership of 38 was outstanding. And we talk about the bowlers. Stone did really well, 20 of his two overs, three dots. I think Cook bowled a very good over in the first over, but then after that was taken a bit by David Miller and Jannath. Brathwaite a bit expensive, 19 of his 1.2 overs, and they're making the top four quite easily at the moment. If you talk about the summary, Chennai Braves were... They started pretty well with Malar and Lawrence, lost a bit of a plot in the middle, but then Whiteley uh, helped them to get to the total of 105, 21 not out of 13, Malan 32 of 20.